Okay, so here's a video I wanted to do uh, for a little bit. I thought of, of this idea. So this is me talking about the Barney and Friends episodes that are uh, not on video, like on physical media at least. And I'm going to talk about like if they should be released on video or not. Uh, but yeah. So first off, we're going to talk about Season 1. Season 1 especially had a big representation on video. There are 20 episodes released by Time Life and 4 more released by Barney Home Video. And some of the Time Life releases got uh, more official releases uh, by Barney Home Video later on. Yet the Time Life videos I don't really think count, really. I don't think they're very official, but yeah. I honestly think a lot of them by Time Life should have had a more official release by Barney Home Video, except for High Neighbor. <laughs> I don't know, like, hi, neighbor, I have nothing against, uh, that episode. Uh, but yeah. But I don't know, I thought it was kind of weird that I had a video release, I didn't even know it had one. Uh, so yeah, some of these episodes, uh, from Time Life did get a more official release in Israel and Korea. Uh, including DVD releases. Uh, but I don't think those count, since are, those are, like, completely different versions of the episodes. So first up is Going Places. This was the first Barney episode not to be publicly released on home video. It has become a rare episode since then, very rarely airing in reruns. Many copies have varying picture quality and audio quality and missing parts of the episode, usually parts of or the entire intro, Barney Says segment, or end credits, though all three are scattered in uh, separate uh, uploads. All we have is the Hurry Hurry Drive the Fire Truck song uh, in the uh, Season 1 intro, a clip of that song. And the full song is shown in the Barney Safety video. Uh, but yeah, should this have had a home video release? Probably, I don't know. Next up is I Just Love Bugs. This episode, along with a lot of other episodes not on video, have aired many times on Sprout, but I don't think that counts. Uh, like, yeah, we're talking about, like, the original airing, which the original airing with the longer end credits is pretty rare, but I think it might be somewhere on YouTube if you really want to see them. And then, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of songs from Season 1 and 2 are featured on Barney's Favorites Volume 1 and 2. I don't really know if those count either. But yeah, I could have sworn this and a lot of the other episodes were on video. Uh, but no. There's one Hebrew album uh, that has the song Itsy Bitsy Spider from this video. The narrator mentions the video bugs, so maybe this was released on video. Uh, but yeah. I don't know, but it's probably ultimately rare. Uh, Camping Will Go, same as before. Uh, there was a Hebrew clip show uh, similar to Barney Songs called Barney Collection 2 that had a select amount of scenes from this episode. I don't know if the full episode had been released on video or not. But yeah. A World of Music, this one's an incredibly rare episode. Only a few good quality and complete copies exist. Uh, I think because of the theme of Around the World, many of the songs and traditions are a bit more unfamiliar, I guess. Uh, and I think some of, them are, some of the songs are even copyrighted. So, like, yeah. What, Kitty? The De Colores song, though, has appeared on the Good Night Show on Sprout. I don't know, like, if the episode actually did air on there. Yeah, season one, they only aired the episodes uh, without Baby Bop, but they also skipped some of these other episodes as well. Uh, so, yeah. I, I don't... I feel like it would make an okay video release. Probably would be released sometime in early 1995 uh, to promote the third season being released. Oh, what a day, same as before. I don't think it would be good for a video release, though. And Ola Mexico, another popular episode, has aired a lot on Sprout. 
Would it have a home video release? Probably. I don't know. Now we're moving on to season four. Or no, I don't know why it just says season four. Uh, we're moving on to season two, uh, which season two has been seen a lot on video and on Sprout. Almost the entire season's on Sprout, except for the episodes with BJ and a few other ones, at least as far as my knowledge. Uh, but yeah, we'll get to that later. And it, like on video, almost half of the season has been released. So yeah. So yeah, the season's more of a gray area of which episodes should be on video or not. So yeah, this episode is one of them. It would probably make a good promotional video release. Uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, several clips show up in the Season 2 intro of these episodes, but I'm not going to, like, count them this time. So, yeah. Grandparents are grand, probably not. The Mr. Toodle scene, though, is in the Love to Read with Barney video, which I'm practically the only one who actually watched that video before it was uploaded on YouTube, because I actually remember borrowing that from the library. And yeah, it was only used for library use to borrow, but I'm gonna count it anyway. Uh, but yeah, the plot point of of Kathy's Nana taking the spire cookies is also seen in that scene, which always confused me. And then, uh, may I help you? Same as uh, Falling for Autumn. Uh, some scenes are in Love to Read with Barney, including the Barney bag, which I was not expecting. Honk Honk Goose on the Loose. This is the only Mother Goose episode that's not entirely on video, with the exception of a certain Season 6 episode uh, that I'm not going to talk about. Uh, but yeah. Only the library song is on the Love to Read with Barney video, uh, which, yeah. I think it would make an okay video release. I think it would probably be released before Season 2 would premiere as like a little sneak peek. Uh, but yeah. Who's in the forest? Most of this episode is on the Love to Read with Barney video, uh, which I was not expecting because this was an episode I'd never heard about before. At least I don't think I had. I think it would make an okay video release. The Hebrew video is on VHS, and it's ultimately rare, but it is on YouTube. Uh, so if you really want to see that, I can do that. More gray area. Only recently has a high-quality copy of this episode been found. Grown-ups for a day, probably. I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, I think the Rocket song is on the Barney safety video, and parts of that scene is also on the Best of Barney uh, in the Favorite Memories feature, which unfortunately I'm not going to count anything from Best of Barney uh, on this video. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, picture this? No, I don't think so. But the Everyone is Special song is on the Barney Safety video, so that's probably good enough. Look at me, I'm three. I've heard rumors this episode aired on Sprout, which I've never seen any proof of that at all. Uh, but I would love to see that uh, at some point. Uh, but yeah, maybe it would make a good video release, I'm not sure. The I Love You song from this episode is on Love to Read with Barney, uh, but with some... Uh, shots shot from a different angle. My favorite things, probably not uh, possible no. Uh, though the three bears rap is on Love to Read with Barney. Uh, the dentist makes me smile. This is the only season two episode that like nothing is on video, not even scenes from the episode in a clip show. Unless you count the CD-ROM games by Microsoft. Uh, which have a lot of Season 2 and 3 clips. I'm not sure if those would count, really. Uh, but yeah. I feel like it would make a good video release, maybe. Or maybe just one scene in a clip show. I'm not sure which uh, scene it would be. Stop looking, be safe. Uh, only one scene is on the Barney Safety video. Though a picture from another scene is on the back cover. Apparently I heard this episode barely talks about safety. So, like, that's probably why. <laughs> Uh, only one scene is in that video. It would probably get, like, a more limited release to promote the Barney Safety video. Uh, though similar to Waiting for Santa, it would probably last a while longer in print. So, yeah. Now, I couldn't go on forever with seasons 3 through 6, uh, since almost nothing from those seasons have been released on video, except for, like, clips and various clip shows. Uh, but I'd rather not, really. That would probably take too long. 
I might do a part two only if everyone really wants me to, or if I do one anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'll think about it. But instead, I really want to talk about seasons seven and eight, uh, because those are uh, two interesting seasons. Yeah, these two seasons are very well archived. Uh, they're entirely available on streaming, uh, but for physical releases, many of them have been released uh, outside of the United States, but in the United States, like, only, like, a majority of them have been released on physical media, usually in various episode compilations. <sighs> oh, sorry about that. So, yeah. So, let's talk about the ones that are available. Up, or are not available up, down, and around. Surprisingly, the full episode is not on video uh, in Region 1. Only a few clips are shown in the intro, and the entire All the Raindrops a song is featured on two promotional video releases, uh, one of which I have right here. So, yeah. I don't know why only that scene. Even, like, on Sprout, I remember they used to air almost every season 7 and 8 episode, but when they removed seasons 1 through 6, uh, many of those episodes were removed as well. But then some were added, because I remember I was shocked when I found this on my DVR. Uh, so yeah. I feel like it would probably have more of, like, a Toys R Us exclusive video release, uh, much like It's a Happy Day and It's Nice to Meet You. Uh, but yeah. Bunches of Boxes. This one's technically cheating because it is on home video. Uh, because it's... On some uh, Hit Entertainment DVDs from 2004 to 2006, there's a bonus feature called Hit Favorites. Or Hit Extras, actually. That, that's what it's called. Hit Favorites was a completely different thing. But Hit Extras uh, features uh, uh, one episode from a select amount of... One episode or one song from a select amount of Hit Entertainment's other shows. And yeah. And, like, each DVD is always a different selection, but the same, like, selections are seen on multiple uh, DVDs. And one of the selections included uh, Bunches of Boxes, uh, which actually features the rare Barney, a helping hand for growing children uh, segment, which is pretty rare to see that and the Barney Says segment for Season 7 and 8 on home video. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. And it's only on non-Barney videos uh, this episode, mostly on the Bob the Builder videos. So that just gives me, like, every reason to start collecting Bob the Builder on video. I think it's also on some Wiggles videos, though. So yeah. But I really do think it should have had a separate release, like a more official one. Uh, like, yeah. All we have is an early edit of the episode on the screener tape for Season 7 that also has All Aboard, uh, known at the time as On the Right Track. Uh, but yeah. Splish Splash, again, this is cheating, uh, as this is another one usually featured in the hit extras uh, bonus feature. This one's more common, though, and I think I have a few uh, DVDs with it, and it does have the Barney Says segment, but again, it should have a more traditional release, probably in one of the episode compilations. I know, like, certain uh, scenes, uh, the swimming pool scenes, are featured in a lot of clip shows, actually, uh, but yeah. And BJ's Really Cool House. This is a very interesting forgotten episode. This episode rarely aired in reruns and, like, is not on any videos in Region 1, not even in clip shows. Uh, but yeah, mostly because, like, of the theme of BJ building his really cool house and then it's never seen or mentioned again on the show. Uh, but yeah, I think it would probably be on one of the Hit Extras bonus features. I'm not really sure if it actually is or not. I feel like it might be. I don't know. Now, Season 8. On Again, Off Again. This episode in its showtime has become very popular in reruns on the PBS Kids block in the mid-2000s, and many uploads from either that or the international releases uh, have been uploaded many times and gotten lots of views. Uh, but not in the United States has this episode been released, especially recently when 
its showtime was featured on the most lovable moments DVD. I feel like this episode should have been included on that as well. Uh, but yeah. Day and Night. I thought this was on the All About Opposites uh, DVD, but apparently not. I think it might be in one of the Hit Extras bonus features. I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah. Same with Accounting We Will Go. An almost full recap of this episode is in the 2010 a video clip show of the same name, but again, it's not the entire episode. Uh, while the full episode's on Video Now Jr. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I think it might be one of the Hit Extras bonus features, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like it should have a more, like, traditional release. And last but not least, A World of Friends. Much like A World of Music, this episode has become very rare, other than the international releases. I think it would have been one of the hit extras bonus features, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, that's it for now. I hope you liked this kind of video. I really want to do, like, a part two, maybe for season three through six, but I'm not really sure if I should. Uh, but yeah. I might want to do this with other shows. Maybe Bear in the Big Blue House and Blue's Clues. I'm not sure, but yeah. Bye.